Hi, good evening. The reason behind uh, making this video is um, the problem what we have done in the class. Okay, so most of the people have done up to here circulation of f bar dot dl bar, and uh, section two people have done um, the curl of f bar over s also, and only few people asked me the doubt um, how ds bar has to be written. Okay. And in section one also, one of the student asked me uh, about the change of direction. In this problem, the direction is given clearly. So from this point to this point, and from here to here, and from here to here. Okay. So when you follow the direction given, you will get some answer for the circulation. Suppose if you change the direction, that means if you follow from here to here first path, from here to here second path, from here to here third path. So you will get a different answer. So how different is that answer? Let us see. And uh, how we need to select the DS bar. So these are the two very important things while doing problems on Stokes theorem. Okay. So let us take this problem and follow. Okay. So let us write on the given vector. So what is the given vector? So f bar is equal to x square y ax bar minus y a y bar. So this is the vector given. So let us draw the path, closed path given. Okay. So if I take this closed path, this is y direction and this is x direction. Okay. Now this point is 0 comma 0 and that this is 1 this is 2 and the path given is yeah let us say this is 2 so this is the path given and we have to indicate the direction so in the problem the direction was given like this so this is the first path this is the second one and this is the third one and this is one okay now look at uh, we have to evaluate first this integral I mean a Stokes theorem is closed integral over L f bar dot dl bar is equal to open surface integral del cross f bar dot ds bar so this is the Stokes theorem so now while evaluating the left hand side we have to strictly follow what has been given in the problem okay so if it is not given in the problem we have to assume some direction okay and depending upon the direction of the path you select ds bar changes okay so how ds bar will be depending upon the direction of the path selected I will show you okay now let us evaluate this integral for the paths given right now okay so now so let us divide this into three paths one two and three so for path one so if I consider path one that means before that this integral we have to break into three integrals so f bar dot dl bar is equal to integral l1 or path one f bar dot dl bar plus path two f bar dot dl bar plus path 3 f bar dot dl bar ok so now consider path 1 so what is path 1 this is 0 comma 0 and this is 1 comma 1 so as x is changing from 0 to 1 y is also changing from 0 to 1 so for path 1 I can write down y equal to x therefore dy is equal to dx so integral path 1 f bar dot dl bar will be given by integral path 1 x square y ax bar minus y a y bar dot as this path is varying in both x and y directions I will write down as dx ax bar plus dy a y bar so which is equal to integral over path 1 ax dot ax 1 ax dot a y 0 similarly a y dot a x 0 a y dot a y is 1 so what I will get is x square y dx d 
dx minus y dy and uh, we know that for path 1 y equal to x dy equal to dx so this will be equal to and x is varying from 0 to 1 so x equal to 0 to 1 x cube dx minus x dx so which is x power 4 by 4 minus x squared by 2 over the limits of 0 and 1 so if you follow this 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 so 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 is minus 1 by 4 so this is the answer for the first path <coughs> now look at path number 2 so if you look at path number 2 this point is 1 comma 1 and this point is 2 comma 0 so when x equal to 1 y is equal to 1 when x equal to 2 y equal to 0 so path 2 will be y equal to 2 minus x now see this carefully if x equal to 0 sorry x equal to 1 then you will get y equal to 1 if x equal to 0 sorry 2 you will get y equal to 0 so that is what satisfied so the second line is y equal to 2 minus x okay right now for this second path integral over 2 f bar dot dl bar is equal to integral over 2 x square y ax bar minus y ay bar dot because the line is varying in both directions dx ax bar plus dy ay bar now integral over path 2 x square y dx minus y dy but we are having y equal to 2 minus x therefore dy is equal to minus dx so we'll substitute here okay so which is equal to integral over path 2 x square into 2 minus x dx because dy equal to minus dx I will get a plus here plus y means 2 minus x 2 minus x dx so which is equal to integral over path 2 what is path 2 x is varying from 1 to 2 okay now with these things so what I will get is 2x square minus x cube plus 2 minus x dx so if I do this integration 2x cube by 3 minus x power 4 by 4 plus 2x minus x square by 2 over the limits of 1 to 2 so what I will get is answer as this answer so I will get after doing integration as 17 by 12 sorry after substituting the limits if you want to check you can check with the calculator ok so after substituting the limits I will get 17 by 2 now consider path 3 so we will do this for path 3 f bar dot dl bar so which is equal to path 3 x square y ax bar minus y ay bar and you, if you look at path 3 it is having it is moving in only x direction okay if you want to see you can okay now look at path 3 from 2 comma 0 to 0 comma 0 it is moving in only x direction okay right so now when it is having only variation in x the y value is 0 so this is dx ax bar and uh, because the line is only in x direction y value is 0 so uh, when y value equal to 0 both terms are equal to 0 the final answer is 0 ok therefore the final answer for integral closed integral over L 
f bar dot dl bar is minus 1 by 4 plus 17 by 2 12 plus 0 so minus 3 plus 17 by 12 which is 14 by 12 which is 7 by 6 so it is 7 by 6 the left hand side of the Stokes theorem now we need to evaluate the right hand side also okay so for my convenience I am drawing the figure again so this is y this is x and this is what was given okay and now what I do is I will divide this into two surfaces this is the first one and uh, this is the second one this is the second one okay so if you look at this carefully this is x which is 0 1 and 2 and this is y which is 1 this is y so let us call this surface as s1 this as s2 if you look at the surfaces as for the first surface x variation is 0 to 1 y variation is 0 to x for the second surface x variation is 1 to 2 only and y variation is from 0 to 2 minus x this is how the surface is varying don't confuse with a line if you consider this line y is varying from 1 comma 1 to 2 comma 0 I mean y equal to 1 to y equal to 0 okay so but if you consider this as a surface the total variation in y is 0 to 2 minus x the total variation is x is 1 to 2 for the first surface the total variation of x is 0 to 1 and total variation of y is 0 to x only okay right so now we will evaluate the right hand side integral s del cross f bar dot ds bar so we will divide into two surfaces for s1 0 less than x less than 1 and 0 less than y less than x second surface 1 less than x less than 2 and 0 less than y less than 2 minus x these are the boundaries for the two surfaces okay how to choose ds bar that is the important thing okay now before that please calculate del cross f bar so now del cross f bar is equal to ax bar ay bar az bar dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z and x component is x square y minus y and 0 now let us see ax bar component so ax bar component is dou by dou a of 0 dou by dou z of minus y which is 0 ax bar similarly ay bar component dou by dou x of 0 dou by dou z of x square y which is again 0 0 a y bar and coming to z component dou by dou x of minus y which is 0 minus dou by dou y of x square y so dou by dou y of x square y will be x square and there is a minus so minus x square a z bar so that is what del square sorry del cross f bar is okay so now we will evaluate this for the two surfaces so open surface integral del cross f bar dot ds bar is equal to integral s1 del cross f bar dot ds1 bar similarly s2 del cross f bar dot ds2 bar now how to write down this vectors ds1 bar ds2 bar now let us see this figure carefully okay so let me take a new page so let me draw the diagram again so yeah this is x direction this is y direction and this is the path what we are having this is the direction of the paths given okay now indicate the coordinates this is 0 comma 0 this is 1 comma 1 this is 2 comma 0 now to decide the direction of ds bar 
we have to consider in which direction these paths have been taken okay now if you take this first path the starting point is 0 comma 0 ending point is 1 comma 1 0 comma 0 to 1 comma 1 write on the distance vector if you write on the distance vector 1 minus 0 a x bar 1 minus 0 a y bar so distance vector is a x bar plus a y bar similarly take path 2 now again what is path 2 from 1 comma 1 to 2 comma 0 now what is the distance vector 2 minus 1 a x bar 0 minus 1 a y bar so a x bar minus a y bar so consider the distance vectors of any two paths as per the direction given so this direction is given in the problem I am following the same direction now do the cross product so now if you do the cross product ax plus ay bar cross ax minus ay bar so ax cross ax is 0 next term what you will get is ax cross minus ay bar cross minus ay bar or else plus ay cross ax bar and ay cross ay is 0 now see this what is ax cross a y bar a z bar but here there is a minus ok so this direction will give you minus a z bar or else a y cross a y is also minus a z bar so for the two surfaces you have to take the direction of d s bar as minus a z bar that is d s 1 bar is because the surface is in xy plane dx dy but minus az bar similarly ds2 bar is also dx dy minus az bar this minus az bar is due to the reason of the direction of the paths given ok right now already we have this del cross f bar is equal to minus x square az bar so let us evaluate this integral for the two surfaces ok right now so del open surface del cross f bar dot ds bar is equal to open surface integral s1 del cross f bar dot ds1 bar plus s2 del cross f bar dot d s2 bar so which is let me integrate the two integrals separately ok first integral is s1 del cross f bar dot d s1 bar which is s1 minus x square a z bar dot d x d y minus a z bar so minus into minus will be plus so integral s1 x square dx dy and what is s1 x is varying from 0 to 1 y is varying from 0 to x x square dx dy so when you evaluate first integral over y there is no y value here only dy is there so integral dy will give you y and then if you substitute the upper limit and lower limit you will get x minus 0 ok or x equal to 0 to 1 x square you will get y over the limits of 0 to x and dx ok so y over the limits of 0 to x is x only so what I will get is integral x equal to 0 to 1 x cube dx so which is x power 4 by 4 which is answer is x power 4 by 4 answer will be 1 by 4 ok so this is what you get so when you integrate it over the first integral ok 1 by 4 next if I go for the second integral similarly ok so 
if I take the second integral this one now integral s2 minus x square a z bar dot dx dy minus a z bar ok so this is what I will get as again minus into minus plus but what is the second surface x equal to 1 to 2 y equal to 0 to 2 minus x again I will get x square dx dy now after integrating over y so I will get upper limit as 2 minus x lower limit as 0 so I will get x equal to 1 to 2 x square multiplied by 2 minus x dx so which is equal to integral over x equal to 1 to 2 2 x square minus x cube dx which is equal to 2 x cube by 3 minus x power 4 by 4 over the limits of 1 to 2 so if I take these values okay let me substitute this so what I get is upper limit is 2 so 2 cube is 8 16 by 3 minus 16 by 4 16 by 3 minus 16 by 4 upper limit minus lower limit is 2 by 3 minus 1 by 4 so what is this answer okay this is 12 so 3 4s are 12 so 3 4s are 16 4s are minus 16 3s are minus lower limit again 12 8 minus 3 so which is equal to if I take 16 common here 1 by 12 here it is 5 by 12 so 16 minus 5 by 12 so what is the answer 11 by 12 11 by 12 so for the first surface we got what is the answer for the first surface 1 by 4 so 11 by 12 plus 1 by 4 so totally overall clo open surface integral del cross f bar dot ds bar is equal to 1 by 4 plus 11 by 12 so it will be <laughs> what is the answer so 12 3 so 3 plus 11 14 14 by 12 it is 7 by 6 ok now this answer is same as the answer what we got for the circulation of f bar around the path given ok so if you want to check you can check so circulation of f over the closed path what is the answer we got earlier so yeah the answer what we got is ok 7 by 6 so this is the answer we got earlier for the left side of the Stokes theorem ok and for the right side of the Stokes theorem also we got the same answer 7 by 6 ok so this is the same answer what we got so this answer is verified because we have chosen the surface area directions as per the paths given ok now let us do the same problem by taking a different direction now ok so let us continue the same problem again now this time I will choose the figure in a different direction this is x direction now this is y now draw the path given so this is what was given now I will choose different directions so now I will choose this as first path this as second path this as third path this is completely the opposite to the problem given earlier ok now I am taking this as path 1 this as path 2 this as path 3 again this is 
0 and this point is 1 and this point is 1 here and this is 2 here ok now let us do the same thing again closed integral over L f bar dot dl bar is equal to surface integral del cross f bar dot ds bar now the same problem we are doing but with change in direction okay now if we consider the left hand side so left hand side can be divided into three paths again path 1 f bar dot dl bar plus path 2 f bar dot dl bar plus path 3 f bar dot dl bar so let us go for path number 1 so if you see path number 1 x is changing from 0 to 2 but what is y value 0 so for path 1 y equal to 0 therefore path 1 x square y a x bar minus y a y bar dot dx a x bar now as y is 0 this answer is 0 now coming to path number 2 path number 2 we are moving from x equal to 2 to x equal to 1 so because this point is 2 comma 0 this point is 1 comma 1 and we are moving in this direction as the arrow shows so we are moving from x equal to 2 to x equal to 1 and one more thing is this path is having an equation y equal to 2 minus x so that is dy equal to minus dx so let us evaluate this so integral path 2 x square y a x bar minus y a y bar dot dx a x bar plus dy a y bar so which is equal to path 2 x is varying from 2 to 1 now so when you substitute when you multi dot product x square y into dx similarly minus y into dy so x square y dx minus y dy and with the substitutions y equal to 2 minus x and dy equal to minus dx so what I will get is x equal to 2 to 1 and here I will get x square into 2 minus x dx and dy equal to minus dx I will get plus here plus 2 minus x dx and if I integrate this what I will get is 2x cube by 3 minus x power 4 by 4 plus 2x minus x square by 2 over the limits of 2 to 1 this is same as in the previous case but the limits has been interchanged so what I will get is the answer is minus 17 by 12 if you want to verify you can verify so what I get is minus 17 by 12 for the second path here this is the second path now coming to the path number 3 ok so now we coming to path number 3 what is path number 3 it is starting from 1 comma 1 to 0 comma 0 ok so if you do it for path number 3 what is the answer we will get ok right now so consider path number 3 for path number 3 x is varying from 1 to 0 and the line is y equal to x ok so for path 3 y equal to x so dy is equal to dx and x is varying from 1 to 0 so path 3 f bar dot dl bar is equal to integral over 3 x square y a x bar minus y a y bar dot dx a x bar plus dy a y bar so which is x is varying from 1 to 0 now so what I will get is x square y dx minus y dy as y equal to x and dy equal to dx I can substitute here so x equal to 1 to 0 x cube dx 
minus x dx so which is equal to x cube x power 4 by 4 minus x square by 2 over the limits of 1 to 0 so upper limit is 0 completely lower limit will be having a minus before that and uh, 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 so 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 is minus 1 by 4 already there is a minus here so it will become plus 1 by 4 so the final answer is closed integral over L f bar dot dl bar is 0 for the first term minus 17 by 12 plus 1 by 4 now what is the answer 12 minus 17 plus 3 so minus 14 by 12 which is minus 7 by 6 if you look at the result for the two problems in the first case we considered the path as this one but these are the directions first path second path third path and when we evaluated closed integral f bar dot dl bar I got answer as 7 by 6 now I have taken the figure as the same figure but paths are this is the first path second path and third path so this is first second and third so what is the answer now minus 7 by 6 so while calculating circulation of a vector field please follow the direction what was being given in the problem exactly if you change the direction the answer is having a negative sign okay right so if the direction is not given you can choose your own choice but this direction of the paths will be having their effect on ds bar now for the second case we have found what is closed integral oral f bar dot dl we got minus 7 by 6 let us verify with the right hand side of the stokes theorem okay so let us verify this so now our right hand side of stokes theorem is integral over s del cross f bar dot ds bar now let us draw our diagram again this is what we have drawn now the directions of the path we changed it so this is the first path this is the second path this is the third path and again we divide the surface into two surfaces before that let us see is the unit vector of ds bar okay now indicate the points now so this is point is 0 comma 0 this point is 2 comma 0 this point is 1 comma 1 and this is the first path this is the second path this is the third path now draw the direct mm, position uh, sorry distance vector of the path 1 so if you see path 1 it starts from 0 0 and set 2 comma 0 what is the distance vector 2 minus 0 which is 2 a x bar 0 minus 0 so no a y bar component and take path 2 it is starting at 2 comma 0 and ending at 1 comma 1 what is the distance vector 1 minus 2 minus a x bar 1 minus 0 a y bar now do the cross product of these two so 2 a x bar cross minus a x bar plus a y bar a x cross a x is 0 so a x cross a y so 2 a x cross a y the direction what I will get is a z bar because a x cross a y is a z bar forget about these magnitudes we want only the direction so the direction of d s bar will be a z bar or if you want to check you can check for the vectors 2 and 3 also so this is for the second path similarly write down for the third path what is the third path 1 comma 1 to 0 comma 0 now the distance vector is 0 minus 1 is minus a x bar 0 minus 1 is minus a y bar 
now do the cross product of the second one with the third one okay and you have to follow the order either you have to do the first one with the second one or second one with the third one or third one with the first one this order has to be followed so I will follow second one with third one so minus ax bar plus ay bar cross minus ax bar minus ay bar now see ax bar ax bar 0 and uh, minus ax bar cross minus a y bar minus ax bar cross minus a y bar or second term a y cross what you get a y cross minus a x bar and a y cross a y is 0 now see this minus minus cancel a x cross a y is a z bar or a y cross minus a x okay so ay cross ax is what you get so ay cross ax is sorry ax cross ax is minus az bar you got a minus here so minus of minus will be again plus so you got az bar so ay cross ax is actually minus az bar but you got a minus here so az bar so for this selection of direction of these paths ds bar will be having its unit vector as plus az bar whereas if you look at the previous problem i mean previous case so when we selected the path as when we selected the path as like this i mean this is first path this is second path this is third path in that case we got the unit vector as minus az bar now we change the directions so now we got a different direction okay so now we got plus a z bar okay so now with this we will go ahead and complete this problem so again same thing we divide this into two surfaces s1 is 0 less than x less than 1 and then 0 less than y less than x and similarly s2 is what we got is 1 less than x less than 2 0 less than y less than 2 minus x so these are the two surfaces what we got <coughs> okay right now open surface integral del cross f bar dot ds bar now let us divide this into two s1 del cross f bar dot ds1 bar plus open surface s2 del cross f bar dot ds2 bar now this will be del cross f bar already we got the answer it is minus x square az bar dot dx dy and this time as we have seen the unit vector is az bar only so az bar plus this is over s1 this is over s2 minus x square az bar dot dx dy az bar so which is now now the surface integral x equal to 0 to 1 and uh, y equal to 0 to x minus x square dx dy similarly plus x equal to 1 to 2 y equal to 0 to 2 minus x minus x square dx dy ok so this is after you substitute the limit of y you will get minus x cube so minus x cube by sorry you x cube let me yeah minus x cube over x integration so minus x power 4 by 4 over the limits of 0 to 1 similarly so what I'll get is minus x square into 2 minus x okay so integral x equal to 1 to 2 minus x square into 2 minus x dx which is equal to this will be minus 1 by 4 okay let me check uh, yeah 
I got a minus so this will be minus 1 by 4 and then yeah minus 1 by 4 plus and this will be minus 2x cube by 3 minus sorry minus into minus will be plus this will be x cube after integration x power 4 by 4 so x power 4 by 4 over the limits of 1 to 2 okay so this is what we got so minus 1 by 4 let me write in a fresh page so we got minus 1 by 4 plus and then we got minus 2x cube by 3 plus x power 4 by 4 over the limits of 1 to 2 ok right so minus 2x cube by 3 plus x power 4 by 4 over the limits of 1 to 2 let me substitute this minus 1 by 4 plus upper limit x cube is 8 minus 16 by 3 plus 16 by 4 and lower limit is substitute the lower limit minus if you substitute 1 you will get minus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 4 so minus 1 by 4 plus minus 16 by 3 plus 16 by 4 minus so minus into minus plus 2 by 3 minus 1 by 4 ok let me evaluate this so 12 so 4 3 is 12 minus 3 and uh, minus 16 into 4 and plus 16 into 3 plus 2 into 4 minus 3 ok so let me add all these things minus 3 and then uh, minus 16 plus 8 minus 3 minus 14 by 12 so which is equal to minus 7 by 6 ok now as you have seen we got the left hand side and right hand side as same answers minus 7 by 6 okay so what we observed in these two cases is I'm writing down the two cases this is the first case of the figure this is X this is Y and the path is labeled as and this is first path this is second path this is third path 1 2 and 3 in this case we got closed integral L F bar dot D L bar as and uh, surface integral del cross F bar dot D S bar as <coughs> 7 by 6 whereas in the second case when the direction has been changed ok so we have changed the direction and we indicated directions like this first path second path and third path so when we change the directions like this so what we got is closed integral over L F bar dot DL bar is equal to S del cross F bar dot DS bar as minus 7 by 6 the only important thing to follow is the direction of the path decides this ds bar direction ok so if a problem is given with clear directions so like in the problem given so follow the same directions don't change your path ok and I explain so how this path will decide the direction of ds bar ok so for your reference I will show you again ok right now if you consider the first problem I mean first case 
So if we move with the first case. <coughs> Let us um, discuss with the first case. So in the first case, yeah, okay, this is it. This is the first case. This is path number one, path number two and path number three. In this case, what we have done is first write down the distance vectors for path one and distance vector of path two. Then the distance vector of the first path cross with the distance vector of the second path. That is what we have done here. This is the distance vector of first path. This is the distance vector of second path. And do the cross. You will get some values here. So that direction is the direction of your ds bar direction. So in this case, ds bar direction is minus az bar. Okay. <coughs> Whereas coming to second problem. In the second problem, we change the directions. No, this is path 1, this is path 2, this is path 3. So in this case, follow the same procedure again. So if you follow the same procedure, this is path 1, 2 and 3. We have written the distance vector for the first path, distance vector for the second path. So this is the distance vector of first path, this is the distance vector of second path. Now do the cross product. So path 1's distance vector cross with path 2's distance vector you will get some answer and that answer will tell you the direction of ds bar. Now in this case it is az bar. So that is the reason why <coughs> we got minus. Okay. So while doing problems on Stokes theorem you better follow these rules. Okay. So the direction of the path is very important. So based upon the direction of the path, your direction of ds bar depends. Okay. So in the first case, the ds bar direction is minus az bar. In the second case, the direction of ds bar is plus az bar. Okay. And uh, in both the cases, Stokes theorem is verified. Because in both the cases, the left hand side in the first case we got 7 by 6, right hand side we got 7 by 6. In the second case, the left hand side we got minus 7 by 6, the left right hand side we got minus 7 by 6. So both the cases Stokes theorem is verified. Okay. So please follow the directions carefully and based upon these directions choose your ds bar's direction. Okay. So I hope uh, the doubts expressed by section 1 student and uh, similarly sections 2 students is clarified. So if you still want more clarification, you can ask me <coughs> in the class or you can ask me in the college at any time. Okay. So thank you and uh, go through this problem. Okay. Done.